The Lead Pro Series is growing leaps and bounds. It's going to be the higher end brand of MMA Elite. We'll probably be re we're going to be selling it to small fight shops now, and we'll be probably releasing it out to some major retailer, i.e. Walmart or somebody, sometime next year. We've decided to put all of our eggs in the MMA Elite basket right now. Everybody loves MMA Elite, it's doing extremely well, and I really like the idea of being in green bringing even, we're known for bringing great product and great prices and people actually appreciate how much hard work we put into it by making the prices so affordable. I'm going to bring them now on MMA Elite, even better product in 2013 at the same price. All those brands that rip off our customers, F them. I'm going to teach them that the customer is king because without the fans, we're nothing. No, why? I'm very passionate about that. I think that a lot of companies are ripping off the fans. They take advantage of it. The economy's not good. Got a new president or an old president staying, but things are changing. What's wrong with giving amazing product at a fair price? You know? I don't know. Versus. We've never taken the focus off of MMA Elite. We felt as if we can build another brand on top of it. What we've decided to do because of the new Kangata brand that's going out. Um, we feel as if that focus on Kangata and MMA Elite and don't split it in thirds. You know, don't, don't, let's not split our attention between the reality series that we're filming and the denim company that we're running and the men's companies that we're running and MMA Elite and everything else. One more could be a nail in the coffin. We gotta get our focus. Gotta, focus is everything. So, Kangata, what, what's the story with Kangata, Kangata at this point? Be spectacular. We made a partnership with Fox Sports, Fox Deportes, Fox, and Fox Mundo. And we are going to, it's the first partnership they've had, and we are going to build a Latino-influenced casual sportswear line for men and women, and then children. There's never been a Latino brand for the Latino market. And the Latinos know how to dress. They dress really clean, really crisp, really classy. Latinos go out every day. They're groomed. They, don't, they would never walk out in these shoes. They'd walk out in leather. They wouldn't even go to take out the garbage in those. They're groomed. They wear well put together clothes. Nothing wild, nice pair of jeans, white t-shirt, little black blazer or something, beautiful leather shoes. These people know how to dress. But there's never been a brand that's given that all to them at one time and, and given them great product. What we do believe is even though it's called Kangata, excuse me, Kangata, and it is based on a Latino influence, and we're always going to acknowledge its Latino roots, everybody's going to want to wear it. It is a clean, crisp, good-looking line that people want to wear. And like everything I do, I'm going to bring value to the customer. I'm going to bring them really nice looks that they can go anywhere in, still casual, Okay, at, at a great price. Plus we have Fox Departes, Fox Mundo, Mundo Fox, Regular Fox, Fox Sports, all promoting the brand. All the on-air talent will be wearing Kangata. They'll be on the microphones Kangata. You'll see it on TV. They shot commercials with all the UFC fighters. They shot a commercial with all the New York Yankees and A-Rod. They uh, did commercials with Mark Sanchez from the Jets. We're going to have instant, everybody's going to know who we are very, very quickly. I mean, how, how did the opportunity happen, though? Um, we met with some people from Fox who were promoting this brand, Kangata, and we were just talking, and they, they use that as the call words for Fox Deportes. They go, Fox Deportes, Kangata. And uh, I, I saw this, and I went to them, and I said, you know, you got a great brand here, a great idea. And they said, yes, we know, but we've never been able to execute it more than a call tag for our um, network. And I asked them what it means, and they go, it means seize the moment, no longer be a minority. It's a very inspirational message. I said, Jesus, I gotta have this. But I didn't want to license, I don't license. If I don't own it, I don't do it. I went in, made a deal with the head of uh, Fox Deportes and Fox. We closed the deal, it took us about a year to make the deal. And now uh, it looks good, it's gonna be amazing. We got their support. Imagine having the power of Fox television behind you. I mean, we're going to go worldwide with this thing. Because well, like I said, you had the Yankees doing commercials. We had Mark Sanchez from the Jets. We have A-Rod. We had Kane Velasquez. We had Chuck Liddell. We are going to, we had Ronaldo. We have a lot of people out there 
who are going to promote the brand. Now we're going to go out to the Fox network of all their stars on their sitcoms. Um, and there's, there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, we're currently in negotiations with a couple of huge rock stars, and that I can't reveal until they're done.